Reddit is one of the most popular social platforms today, and Reddit had a very critical vulnerability three months ago. So in today's video, we will take a look at how Reddit almost got hacked and how did this hacker even found this flaw. Of course, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course down in the description. So as promised, here is the report, and let's start digging this and stripping this apart to see how this even actually happened. See, on January 30th, 2025, so basically like three months ago, an exposed proxy was there that allows access from to the internal Reddit domains from the public internet. And Larry Voltage basically wrote that report on the January 30th and it basically said, hey, here is the proxy which allows access to internal domains. And it basically gave them two steps to reproduce. And as you can see, there is this interesting part here, which I will talk about later. And as you can see here, the supporting material that he says, okay, this is how I'm able to prove that this is actually mentioned here. And blah, blah, he found out that this actually proxy behaved like a proxy before even testing to see if it's on the Reddit. Anyways. Uh, this host header here is basically deciding which endpoint, internal endpoint, is it going to hit. So, so his next comment was from the responses, if a proxy, it is clear that there are more endpoints which can be brute forced. Remember this word brute force for later, actually, it comes very important later on in the video. But I don't want to mess with internal infrastructure until the team reads the report. Okay, perfect. And now let's take a look at it even more because this is the Dave actually says, thank you for your submission. Let's take a look at it. And the Dave here says that this impact is similar to the SSRF or server side request forgery. But I would like to disagree with him, although he is kind of right. This vulnerability should be, as it said here, improper access control. And he was labeling it as, a, an, as an SSRF and ultimately re, uh, putting this to be the medium because he believed that, you know, there is sensitive data exposure, but it's just an SSRF and just what you got to do is kill this proxy and that's it. Well, that becomes very important later on as well. So as you can see here, if there's no sensitive data accessible, this falls under the low. So let's see what Ray Voltage has said. And as you can see, he says, I'm discussing the submission internally with the Reddit team. You'll be updated as soon as there is an additional information to share. Okay. So here is what the revolt says. It is possible to get some information about other internal services through the verbose errors like Kubernetes or Snowguts or Snooguts, whatever you pronounce that. And here is what the Reddit stuff had to say, literally like a day after. This was edited out on the day it was uh, publicly disclosed. This looks like an infrastructure misconfiguration as we're not supposed to have this exposed to the raw internet. And this needs to be investigated. And a few uh, few minutes after it, another Reddit staff says, um, this doesn't look right. Let me ask around. Confirmed it's allowing me to query my own development instances of services that shouldn't be exposed publicly. So this falls under the high category. And he was rewarded with seven and a half thousand dollars, but we'll get into that later. And he says, nice, fine. So basically, if you have still no idea what's going on, this proxy allows them to access the internal services of Reddit, which should not be able to be accessed through the public internet. But there we have the like a relay, not even a relay, but maybe like a reverse proxy that allows them to access that. So he was the Reddit staff says, nice, find we fixed some configurations on our on our site to prevent this. Obviously, I think they killed this proxy. Double check. It's no longer allowing this. And he was rewarded with seven and a half thousand dollars. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to strip this apart and figure out how the hell did he even actually end up with a proxy that was allowing all of this mess? And I think I did, but I'm not 100 percent certain. So maybe in the future video, I'll get in contact with their voltage and maybe make an interview with him to see how he actually found this out. So the way that I think this all actually happened is basically first things first, what you would do when you're like want to research a website is you might want to go on the subdomain scanner and then scan the subdomains of the web of the top level domain, for example, reddit.com and see what's going on. And over here, for example, I found a one which is like prototype.reddit.com, which has like 52 and it looks similar to the proxy. And I was like, okay, let me figure out what's going on here. And it's actually using the Amazon or AWS and it might be an EC2 server. I'm not quite certain it is. Basically, that means a Cloudflare, but I'm not quite certain. So what I had to look up is I had to look up IP ranges in the IP ranges.amazonaws.com. And here is what I found. There is an IP range from 5185. And then we actually have another one, which is EUS for the European Union for 5293.5153. So my idea was this, this person knew somehow that he should scan for these. Maybe he was scanning all of these like uh, IP prefixes and just stumbled upon one that was looking like this. Again, he was doing IP scans. That is 100% certain. There's absolutely no way this was exposed 
because otherwise he would have told that to here yo i found this proxy exposed at here on the internet and I, I found it but that makes me believe that this was basically products of an ip scan and to support this claim here he says which can be brute forced so the fact that he mentioned the word brute forced means that he actually had no idea this was actually for reddit he just brute forced its way to find out that it's actually reddit's uh proxy so that was my claim and that was my hypothesis that this is actually what's going on but even if he found an IP somehow that was running on AWS, or maybe he was scanning AWS to see which services are running there, and he found out this IP on like a basic port. But take a look at this port right over here. That is very concerning to me because how the hell did you find this port, man? Because if you take a look, this is actually how it works. Ports with numbers from 0 to 30 are, are a call system and well-known ports, blah, blah, blah. And what this falls into is registered ports. And if you take a look at what registered ports are, it's networking ports within the range of this that can be used by specific applications for communication purposes. Of course, this is how it actually works. These are the privates and this is not a private port. Let me close that off. So how the hell did this actually happen? So I did, I just Google search this. And as you can see, this is actually an AWS service. And if I went, what will go to the reference, we can take a look here that uh, we see start IP address and then end IP address. But this is not 90 though. So there is some network, there's some IP scanning. So my hypothesis is that he found out that there is a proxy running here, but he had no idea what's the port. And he basically had to now do port scanning after doing the IP scan, which is actually what hackers do. Yeah, they absolutely do IP scanning, but you know, it's less talked about. So he did port scanning and found out that there is an open port here. It might have taken days, months, I don't know. But there is a port. And another thing is actually very interesting is because I went back here on the subdomain finder and there's like on the day, just the day before the report was actually done. I'm not I'm not quite certain if this is related, but there was a scan of reddit.com. I'm not quite certain if that's related, but there was a scan just the day before this was even found. So maybe he was doing IP scan and port scan. But again, the, the time frame within those things are actually so little. So it might have been not. It might have just been coincidental. But again, it could have been. So my hypothesis is again, he I did IP scanning, found the IP, then he did port scanning, found the port. But how did he hell did he realize there was a Reddit? Well, uh, maybe he found out this and then wanted to see if Reddit was using Amazon. So he had to do something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite certain how he figured out Reddit here. Again, the fact that he mentioned brute forcing means that he probably did brute force it. And the host header must have been brute forced too. So he says here from this, uh, there are more endpoints which can be brute forced. There are more endpoints that can be brute forced. But I don't want to mess with the internal infrastructure until the team reads this report. So he did brute force it. This was brute forced and this was 100% brute force because how the hell do you know an internal host? And how the hell did you know that there was a Reddit here? I mean, there could be a way, but we cannot know for sure unless the Lara Voltage actually tells that in person, which we will actually reach him out. After I record this video, I will go ahead and write him a nice little message and saying if we can get him to the video. So this is my hypothesis. If you want to correct me in the comments, please do, because I'm just guessing this. This is not like a, this is just a theory. I could be very wrong, but let me hear your comment. Let me hear your opinion in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out the course. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.